Hi guys, uh, welcome to your first Lua lesson. Uh, we're just going to create a simple Hello World application. Okay, so Lua is great language. You have things like World of Warcraft, Adobe Lightroom, uh, Gary's Mod. They all use Lua. Um, simply because it's lightweight, it's simple, you don't have to compile your code. The game can compile the code for you, and all sorts of reasons. Okay, so let's actually start programming it. Um, what we can do to output text onto the screen is we can use the print function. So we just write print, and then open and close uh, brackets or parentheses, um, and then inside the brackets, in quotes, just write whatever you want to be outputted. So in our case, we just write hello world, maybe exclamation mark. Uh, and if we just do this, you can see hello world gets outputted at the bottom here. Um, what you can also do is you can use something which is a lot like print, which is io.write. It does pretty much the same thing. I find it more sort of flexible and easy to use. Uh, but if we output this, it hasn't left a space here. So the exit code has just gone straight next to it. Uh, if you want to leave a space, we can just do backslash n. And this just tells it to create a new line. So if we just do the scan, there we go, just like the print one. Uh, and then we can actually do this in the print statement as well. Or the print function, um, sorry. So yeah, we just left a new line and this will just uh, leave two lines here. As you can see. Uh, this is pretty much the basics. I suggest you just have a little play around with it so we can print different things. Print, I know. My name is Fred. Uh, slash in, backslash in, sorry. And then add it right. Have a cat called um, Boris. Um, yep. And then there we go, you can see all this has been outputted as we um, wanted. There you go. So have a little play around with it, try outputting different things, uh, make sure you've mastered it. And then you can sort of uh, move on to lesson two. So uh, that finishes up this lesson. Uh, have a nice day.